Hi viewers, good day. Welcome to vSparks. Today we are going to see what are the fundamentals of Docker networking, different types of networks available in Docker host and we are going to see a demo on how to create custom networks and to deploy containers in it. If you like this video, please subscribe to vSparks channel and click the bell icon for the latest updates. This is the agenda of this video. We are going to discuss on these topics in this video. Why Docker networking is important. Docker networking is essential to establish communication between Docker container and the outside world. Only then we can access our application which is deployed in the Docker containers. Docker supports different types of network and each fits for different use cases. They are bridge, host, nun, overlay and Mac VLAN networks. Now we will discuss a bit more about these networks. First is bridge network. A bridge network is a private isolated network created by the Docker host. Containers deployed in the bridge network can communicate with each other and they will not share the Docker's host network. It is the default network whenever you start a container unless you specify something else. If you do not specify a network tag at the time of creating a Docker container, Docker will always choose the default bridge network. You can also create a user defined bridge network with the different IP ranges if you are not happy with the IP ranges of default bridge network. Second is host network. Host network does not provide a network isolation as like bridge network but it uses or shares the network from the docker host. Host networks are best when the network stack should not be isolated from the docker host network. Next is none network. When you want to disable the network for a container, you can choose or use the none network which will not give any networking functionalities to the docker container. Next is the overlay network. When you want your containers running in different docker hosts to communicate each other, then you should use this overlay network. Mac VLAN network. This Mac VLAN network assigns a MAC address to each container that is connected to the Mac VLAN network. This makes the container to look like a regular physical network interface connected to the physical network. These overlay and the Mac VLAN networks are out of scope for this video. Now we will see a diagrammatic representation of how default networks look like. Bridge network. By default, a bridge network would have been created by the Docker host in the IP range of 172.17.0.0/16. When you run a container, by default, it picks the default bridge network. Containers within the same bridge network can communicate with each other. If you want to access a container outside the Docker host, you need to port forward the container port to the host port. You can also create a custom user defined bridge network just like this. In the case of host network, host network is shared with the containers running on top of it. Here you can see the web container shares the host network and it is exposed outside in the host port number 80. You cannot run two containers in the host network exposed with the same port number. None network. Here, in the case of none network, container running in the none network cannot communicate outside and its network functionalities are completely disabled. Now, we will see a demo on how to create Docker networks and to deploy containers in it. These are the things that we are going to do 
in this demo. Step number one, connect to the Docker host and check if the Docker is running or not. This is my Docker host, which I connected using the SSH terminal. Just to save the time, I have consolidated all the commands in a notepad. Here you can see the Docker is running actively. Now it's step number two, inspect the default networks in the Docker host. You may see bridge, host and the NUN network as the defaults. Here you can see the default bridge, host and the NUN network. Now we will inspect each of the network. First we will inspect bridge network. Here you can see the name is bridge and the subnet range is 172.17 range. Whenever you create a container with this network, your container will get an IP from this range only. Now we will inspect the host network. This host network does not have any IP subnet ranges assigned to it. Similarly, your NUN network will not have IP subnet ranges as well. Now it's step number three. We are going to deploy container in the default bridge network and we are going to test it. Before deploying, just log in to the private registry because the container which I'm going to use is in my private registry. Now we will deploy a web server container and we will access it from outside by port forwarding. So I'm going to port forward the container port number 80 to the host port 8080. We will access the container using the host IP address in port number 8080. Just type IP space ADDR just to find the IP address of the host. Just open a browser and access this IP address in port number 8080. Here you can see you are hitting your container. Now we will also deploy a CentOS container using which we will try to access the web server container. Just to make you comfortable, I am just duplicating this uh, Docker host session in two tabs. Now we will run a CentOS container. This will run the CentOS container plus it will attach the local session into the container. Now uh, try to find the IP address of the first container that is the web server container. Here you can see the IP address of the container is 172.17.0.2. Just try to ping this IP address from the CentOS container.
both the containers should be reachable to one another as they got deployed in the same bridge network. Now you can see the CentOS container is able to reach the web server container. Step number four, we are going to create a custom isolated bridge network. Now you can see a custom isolated bridge network in the range of 192.168 is created. Just try to inspect the same. Now it's step number five. Deploy containers in the custom bridge network and then test the connectivity from the default bridge network. So in this case, the connectivity should not get succeeded. So now I'm going to run a web server container in the custom bridge network. Here the container will get an IP from the custom bridge network that is in the range of 192.168.0.0 it will get an IP address. Just to know that, just inspect that particular container. Yeah, just try to ping that IP from the default bridge networks containers. Here you can see the ping response is not succeeded, which means we are unable to reach custom bridge network from the default bridge network. Now, it's step number six. We are going to deploy containers in the host network and we are going to inspect it. So in this case, the container is going to use the Docker host ports for its connectivity. So just inspect that particular container which is deployed in the host network. So the container which is deployed in the host network will not get an IP address because it shares the Docker host network. To access that particular container, you can directly use the Docker host IP address. You can see you got the HTML responses. Step number seven, we are going to deploy containers in the none network and we are going to inspect it. In this case also, the container will not get an IP address. That's it. This is the summary of this video which we have discussed so far. Thank you for watching this video and thank you from vSparks.